Hi YouTube, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create our own custom icons for applications in your iPad Touch or iPhone. First, uh, you need to have Winterboard, that's how we're going to line all the icons, and it's recommended to have a theme that supplies a template with it, but that's not required. You need a theme though to apply all the icons and use the same style so you can have a consistent theme. First, all you gotta do is install theme through Cydia, and this is gonna follow up in your interboard settings. And all you gotta do is go there and enable. The one I have here is called Swave, and came with an icon template I'm gonna show you in a minute. And basically, icons in your iPod or iPhone work in a PNG format. So it's got a 24-bit transparency, and you can edit those. As you can see, I made a couple of those. I made black rain, backgrounder, boss paper, and app backup. All those just using the supply template by the author, and uh, just a, a bit of Photoshop. Nothing, nothing really complicated there. Uh, right here in my desktop, you can see the template supplied with the theme. I'm going to open it up to show you guys. I guess creating the icon is the first step. So, right here. You can zoom up so you can see. Um, the display theme here, the display template has quite a few colors of buttons and a couple effects you can add, bordered. Icons or uh, everything, calendar style, contacts, notes. So you got to use your creativity here to fill in the blanks you have from anything new. You just have happen to install and see that it doesn't have that icon you're looking for in your apps. So you just go ahead and create an icon in Photoshop. So let's see. I just want to save this icon here. Uh, if you want to save the PSD version, that's fine, but the one that's going into your iPod is a PNG version, like I said. So you got to use the Save for Apple Devices option in your Photoshop. I'm going to save for PNG 24 bit right here. Make sure transparency is on. 60 by 60, that's the best size. And you save that, and make sure you use Latin characters. Now, naming for your icons should be the same as they are in your Springboard. That is, get the get any app you have. For instance, say I wanna update the black coin icon here, like I did. You gotta name it exactly as it appears in your Springboard. So black rain, no capitals, the one here instead of the eye, and all that stuff. After that, you just create your own uh, icons that we can use. Uh, couple of tools I'm going to tell you later on to help speeding up the process, but essentially that's how I do it. Now uploading the files to your iPod though is another problem. First thing you have to do is open up Cydia. You're going to need a couple of tools from there. From Cydia, you need a tool called SSH. Now, what that allows you to do is access your phone or iPod and upload and download files from it through Wi-Fi. Now, there's a bit of a security issue I'm going to get into in a bit, but essentially, this no big deal. You're just going to change a password. It's called the root password. I'm going to cover that in another video, so be sure to check that out too. And as soon as Cydia boots up, you, it's a little package you got to install. It's called Open SSH. Let it do its thing there. Along with the SSH, there's uh, another plugin I'm going to show you in a bit. It's called SP Settings. It's that thing there. It allows you to toggle. SSH on and off, so it's really useful so you don't have, don't have to go into the settings and stuff, you just swipe 
in your status bar there, it boots up, you can spring, uh, reboot your phone right from here. You can uh, have a, an old custom dock inside this application, it's very useful. <coughs> okay, so I'll see you load it up. Now go to search and just type in SSH. And the application got installs open SSH right here. It's a console package, and like it says, it allows remote access between the computer and your iPod or iPhone. So just go ahead and install this app. You can you know how to do this. It will respring your phone and now we should get into the SP settings so we can toggle SSH on and off quite easily. So the app is called SP Settings. This is a free app. Search and there. SB settings there. The system file right here. You install that. Make sure to search for SP settings toggles so install anything you find useful. Start playing song. Oh. Um, make sure to install everything you find useful. Now you installed SB settings. Uh, you can quit. Cydia, it's fine, just one button there. And make sure SSH is enabled, like that. Make sure it's on. Oh, again, to enter SB settings, you just have to swipe. Let me do it here, you this. See my cursor here? Swipe right. And it opens up. Right? Okay. Um, Make sure you take notes of this number here, your Wi-Fi IP address. It's how you're going to connect to your device. So, in my case, it's just point one or three. So, get here and I run. If you don't have this program here installed, just Google. It's a free app. You can get it from Google. Code, if I'm not mistaken. It's called Win Win SCP. It's a great free program. It will be a link will be on the the info for this video later on. So you just uh, get a host name and you type in the IP address you just entered. You just look at the at the SP settings thing there. And for username you write root and password. If you did not change your root password this should be all time. In my case I did change it so it's not all time. And this is the correct port. Make sure you use SCP as the final protocol. I log in. And boom. That is your phone on the right side. And this is your computer. So you can change files, exchange, copy, paste, whatever you want. So to find your theme, you go to stash. You, you first, you get to to the var. It's root private var folder. Then go to stash themes. It's going to be themes dot whatever string here. It's a random string apparently. And you find a theme you installed. In my case, it's swave dot theme. It's a folder, so open it up. Now, if if the author su supplies a template. This is where it should be, so you can drag it up and copy. 